Hi everyone, I'm getting guided to do this funny little reading about this toxic relationship. Now it's either one you're in or the one, one you're thinking, I'm hearing the one you're thinking about from the past, okay? So that's for some of you. And Spirit wants to give you some message on this toxic relationship. Now this doesn't have to be love related. You can have a toxic relationship with your brother, I'm hearing, okay? But your family, your neighbor, I'm also getting. The, the, the man at the grocery store, the clerk in the convenience store, something like this. I'm also seeing, um, oh, um, a movie here, Clerks, some image you had of yourself could even be toxic, some way that you saw yourself to be, okay, so that needs to change, so whatever it is for you, whatever you think is toxic, we're going to get the message here, the cards already popped out. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, we got the eight of wands at the bottom. I feel like new energy is definitely coming in after a period of feeling like you don't know why things are being said for some of you the way they are. Why For some of you, somebody's hide, like they're hiding they're hiding their uh, vision, okay, of what they want. New energy is coming in. Can we get one more on that? A time for healing. Okay, this is not about that. This is about you, I'm hearing. This is how you want to deal with the energy. I'm hearing something and I don't know what this means. Something like a nickel in time requires a dime or something like that. So, so you have to put, you have to go halfway with something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a specific message for someone. Okay, let's get into it. Your own pattern and role in this toxic relationship. Are you ready for some real talk? I hope so. Now, remember, like, if you feel like this reading is not for you, then it's not for you. You know, if it resonates good and, you know, take the message in and if it works and it helps you, then go ahead. And if it doesn't, then do what you want, right? There's no, no need to be um, upset. Okay, so we have seven of swords for your role. Well, there's something that you're not being honest about. Now, this could be with yourself or it could be with this person. There is, um, I'm hearing two sides to the coin in time. What the hell is this? There's something about a, a coin and, and there's a lot of wind where I am right now and I'm hearing that. For some of you, there's something, uh, yeah, something shadowy about the connection. There's like a dark, something like a dark um i don't know a dark what temperance in reverse there's something uh, like magic it feels magical or it feels like uh i don't know okay let's move past that i feel like it's too specific yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, it, there's like some kind of energy here. Maybe it's some kind of trauma bonding here. I'm seeing like a man and a fox in a woods alone. It's winter time. The hangman in reverse with the six of pentacles. With death. Uh, for some of you, this person knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And they're pretty cold about it. King of Cups in reverse. Or Knight of Cups, sorry. Either way. They're not bringing forward what they need to bring forward. What's the, uh, we're going to get into the actual spread, but Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, because it, they are comfortable in the cycle. What's their feelings here? The Chariot. The 
four of wands and the seven of cups. This person uh, is a little bit lost here. They want, they want some stability. Okay. And I am, I did ask about their feelings in relation to you. It's like they want to be on a path that parallels yours. I'm hearing. Okay. So maybe they feel like they need to be uh, having the same interests or doing what you're doing parallel paths but they don't know how to get there or they don't they don't uh, come to this connection with a sense of I'm hearing irony come to this connection they don't come to this connection with honesty and so neither do you wow Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so here's what I'm <laughs> here's what I'm getting. Okay, so you oh I picked up that card. So you know deep down uh, that this person isn't honest, and so you've held back in some way too. I think it was the Three of Cups here. Yeah. All right. Well, that makes sense. So neither of you are uh, either. I'm hearing exposing the lies. Neither of you are exposing the lies. Okay. And you're also waiting to move on. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So likely outcome, if you stay connected to this energy in whatever way that means to you, you know, it could be like revisiting, it could be watching tarot readings on it, or maybe you're actually talking to this person. Uh, but we have the nine of wands showing up. It's a battle and it's exhausting. There's a lot you have to push back on, you know, like I feel like this person is really persistent with their energy. The high priestess. Oh, this is energetic. Okay, so for some of you, this is happening like in the astral realm here where this person is invading your territory, I'm hearing. I'm hearing your God-given territory. I don't know what that is. That's for someone. God-given a Page of Swords. Two of Swords in reverse. You, if you've just made, uh, if you've recently made a decision for some of you about a home or something about money, you've turned down money or you've accepted money or you've had a job offer or something like um, big has come rolled in on the storms for you, through you, I'm hearing. It could maybe even be a spiritual ascension. Whatever's recently unlocked for you, this person knows. Okay, they're, they're, they're either energetically they know this with the high priestess or they are watching you in some capacity here. But they know that you've made a decision. Maybe it's the decision to heal. The fool, you've had it, you're you're having a new beginning with something, and they know. Okay, so if you decide to keep connected with this energy, yeah, I I'm just getting a text from someone in there like it's super blustery outside, and I am hearing that wind, and it's like yeah, it is getting like a little bit energetically chaotic. It's blustery. <laughs> yeah. And you're at the edge of the cliff, right? So you don't want the wind to push you off. You want to make the leap. Interesting. Yeah, the hermit here. Okay, let's keep going. So the likely outcome, if you stay connected to this energy, it's going to be a battle. I feel like you're going to have to intuitively keep your guard up as well, like energetically uh, keep your guard up. It feels like it's a little bit past life vibes I'm getting. Tell me more about if I stay, just give me one spirit, if they stay connected. Four of Wands. I feel like Knight of Swords in reverse. It's weird. I feel like there's some kind of um, 
structure. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something you're setting up for yourself here. And there's something about this energy and being aware of it or knowing about it or thinking about it that's helping you set up your structure or gain some recognition. So some of you might be talking to other people about this toxic connection, Ace of Swords. Yeah, and it's helping you grow a business for some of you or it's helping you grow confidence, the Empress. Yeah, it's giving you some kind of abundance. That's why you're staying connected. Four of Pentacles. You are going to release this when you feel the time is right. So there is something here. Okay, maybe this is in your shadow where you may feel like this person is keeping you stuck energetically, but you need to know that you're in control and you are keeping attached to this energy for a reason for your own development in some way as, as your shadow wants to lead you there, which is okay as long as you're aware of what's going on. The star in reverse and the five of swords in reverse, which you're not at this point for some of you. Some of you just need to regain control and stop feeling like, um, compelled or, or stop feeling like this person has some kind of power over you energetically or emotionally or whatever it is because it's you it's you who's all powerful like I'm not saying you're hurting yourself on purpose or you're um, doing anything to this other person but like there's something going on here in the ethers that's connected to this page of swords and the two swords in reverse again it, maybe you're showing them something here you know, like you're, t you're teaching them something here about a decision you've made. I'm hearing him. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, let's keep going. We have likely outcome. If you disconnect from this energy, we have strength. Okay. So this looks really positive. It neither looks negative. I mean, one looks like it's in the shadow. It's unconscious, okay? And it is exhausting, but you are gaining something from it in some way, okay? And it's not all of this, it's, I'm hearing pain and suffering for some of you, has been a waste of time. This is something, okay? And maybe it's different for each of you. Let's get this on. What are we talking about here with this? Is something? Wow. Expect powerful change. Luck is on your side. Believe in the impossible. Prosperity le lies ahead. Yeah, there's something going on here with this. And for some of you, you're making something out of this, even indirectly. Maybe you're not totally aware of how this has positioned you on a certain way of being, plane of being. Take off. Okay, so when you're ready to disconnect from this, and I feel like you will, Oh, wow, this card just laid right there, just stayed right there. And it says you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, and your goal is healing and potentially healing others as well. And that's part of your own healing process is to start healing, helping the healing of others as well. Some of you are going on some kind of retreat. Okay, that's going to be useful for you. The Hierophant, the Six of Cups. Yeah, it's some kind of like uh, reconnecting with your inner child deal. Page of Cups. Yeah, the Three of Wands. That's specific, I know. Or maybe it's a, like a meditation even at home. Judgment. Yeah, you're connecting with spirit in some way here that's taking you home to your inner strength. That's beautiful. There's wisdom being imparted on you as you disconnect from this more and more. There's also, for some of you, there's also this like um, feeling like, and I feel like this is probably a past life energy or you've been, or you were in a very long-term connection with this person. There's something that, um, it's like you're nervous of disconnecting from the energy because you're so used to it. You know? Yeah, it's like breaking a bad habit. There's something here, um, I'm hearing 30 days, 
the fool. Okay, maybe 30 days is going to be a month from now. You know, you're going to be in a different place here. Justice, the sun. A month from now, 30 days from wherever you watch this. Mark it on your calendar. The tower. The tower breaking out. Wow. Okay, the wheel of fortune in reverse to the tower. Whatever cycle, karmic, toxic cycle this is, this is and that you've been involved in and that you're still here watching the tarot reading on, you know, or if you are, you know, uh, then like for that, then it's going to be brought down. Like it's disrupted. Spirit doesn't want you to, to be doing this anymore. Seven of Cups. It's creating some kind of confusion. The Emperor, you need to be back in charge here, back in the driver's seat. But 30 days from now, the Sun Justice, karma will be released and there'll be healing. I'm hearing you can count your lucky ducks. Strength if you go so that will happen okay the ability to change in the other person that you're inquiring about we have the seven of wands <laughs> that's the card of being super defensive right like look at this block it's however this person acts it's a defense mechanism uh they may feel like they have to I'm hearing like equal. I'm, well, I'm hearing equate. I don't know. Let me see. The Five of Cups. Ugh. This person has a laundry list of complaints or problems. Three of Wands. They have a beautiful vision at times. But there's some sadness, I'm hearing, in the body that hasn't been healed. Something with the stomach, maybe. Something, uh, maybe an ulcer or something like this. Or something to do with their, uh, they could have like head problems, like headaches or, or their ears. Something with their ears. Page of Cups and Six of Cups. This person has to work through some deep-seated wounds, I feel, like from childhood with the Page of Cups showing up. The way they act is to guard themselves from all of the energy necessary, I'm hearing. Five of Swords, yeah, see? Power. They need power uh, because they didn't have any when they were younger. Okay, so what has this person been deceitful about? Two of Wands in reverse. What has this person been deceitful about? King of Wands in reverse. If this is the kind of person who said they knew what they wanted, you know, from the beginning, they, they, they had their intentions, they had a path, they had the right vision, you know, like they knew what they were doing, they didn't. They didn't know what they were doing. Ace of Cups in reverse, no. Why? Why did this person... It's like a passive energy here. Why? For what reason? The devil, the magician, and the king of swords. This is for just some of you, okay? But hmm, could be Capricorn, Gemini. I don't know. There's lo lots of signs here. Leo and all, like all of it. It's all here, but I felt like call calling those out for some reason. I feel like they could have both in their chart, but for someone... But the King of Swords with the Magician and the Devil, that is some manipulative energy. Super manipulative energy here. Mm, yeah, like I said, they knew what they were doing. And... Oh... 
They knew what they were doing in terms of the way they were treating you and acting towards you. But they didn't know where it was going. They didn't know where it was going. So they knew, but they didn't know, which was the deceit that you were picking up on, which was so hard to put your finger on. A time to give rather than to take. You are good enough. I feel like this person could have made you feel like, you know, you lacked something. You're very close to achieving your goal. They could have been breadcrumbing you in some way. Step out of your comfort zone. I feel like there's some shaming that this person uh, does to themselves, I'm hearing. Bring love into the situation. This person uh, has a really difficult inner world. I'm hearing full of visions that are uncalculated. Weird. That's weird because I would think that the that the King of Swords with the Magician is super calculated, but I'm getting this message that it's like, okay, I know it. Okay. So this person's like, I know how I want to handle this situation and like where, where it's like almost like they knew where they were going to get cold or mean, but they didn't know why they would end up doing that. Or it's like, it's almost like anticipating that they would get to that point, but they weren't sure why that would happen. So they didn't tr try to have a direction with you from the beginning because they knew themselves, I'm hearing. But they don't really know, do they? They're working on it, about finding out where this is coming from. Yeah, the hermit with the knight of pentacles. They're working on it, trying to figure out what the hell's going on here? Tell me more about the devil and the magician. Don't let pride get in your way. A fiery climax approaches. I'm hearing Mars. This person can be very Mars entitled, I'm hearing. Nothing is yet set in stone. See what I mean? It's like a very strange energy of like, I know there's going to be conflict and chaos, but I don't know why or how. This person could have been hot cold here. There's a confusion that this person has. Okay, five. Five, interesting, I'm, I'm, that number could be 53, 35. Okay, backlash if you totally cut this off. That's an interesting, I'm, I'm reading it from a spread, backlash, okay. If you totally cut this off. We have the Three of Cups. What's that? Did something flip over? Backlash. If you totally cut this off. Queen of Wands, this person could gossip about you, talk negatively to other people. I feel like this person is the kind of person to kind of, uh, to say that everything they did, you did. You know what I mean? It's like they're going to tell people that you were the bad guy in the relationship or that you're the one who drowns yourself in your own pity, I'm hearing. Okay, that's not me. That's That's what I'm hearing them. They know, but see, they know that's not true, but they don't know why they're saying that, but they, what is that, uh, misalignment there? What is that misalignment about? Eight of wands in reverse, the sun in reverse and the tower. It's like repressed energy. Tower in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. And there's some, they've repressed something positive about themselves. Okay. So let's get a closing message for you. I don't even know. It's like, I got to watch this reading again because I can't even summarize it really. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Should I use those? No. Okay. Last messages here about this toxic relationship. 
Confidence is your key to success, but it was in reverse. And I feel like that's the main problem. Maybe on both sides, some lack of confidence. The answers you need are coming. Okay, how? What? How? Surrender to the divine. Spirit's talking to you. You and your loved ones are safe. Your commitment is being tested. A new start is coming. Beautiful. Yeah, you're on the healing path. Okay, trust your guides. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. You know, you have your own back in this situation. You know where you stand. Keep where, where you stand. Keep your thoughts clear. Clear the chaos. Clear the chaos. The answers... I'm hearing are something, the answers are so, you can't leave me like that. The answers are so what? The answers are so what? For a reason. Okay, so that's the answer that you're gonna get. That something one year, mine, once in a lifetime, trust. At the bottom, paranoia. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe that makes sense to you here, but there's your answers are definitely coming. This connection was for a reason. Okay, I feel like that you're not going to be repeating this again with this person. What's the mind? Bad timing. ancestors yeah I feel like okay what else do you want to say about the toxic family the little things okay there's something about this the the ancestors the family possessiveness there's something going on paranoia okay maybe something in the family here like uh something's been passed down silent attention Okay, so they could be giving you the silent treatment and that's something that they experienced in the family. Fool me once. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so it's like basically spirit saying, you're going to heal from this. You just need to make that decision to release. But don't forget like the, the holding on, including watching this reading. There's something you're doing with that. Okay, so don't be so hard on yourself. There is something that you're doing. And I feel like it's working through your own shadow. Yes, it's working through your own shadow. You're energetically loved and protected. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.